hello viewers welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you on how to convert from nno to utm or utm to nno using your mobile phone and you can as well use your system after the video i'll drop a link under my videos description where you can download the one for your system where you, where you can download the software that you can use to convert from NNO to UTM on your system. Likewise, I'll also drop the one that you can use for your mobile phone to convert from NNO to UTM. Simply watch me while I put you through on how to do that. Uh, the software I'll be using to convert from NNO to UTM is Nigeria Dating Converter. So, to convert from NNO to UTM, what you do is that you come to your nothings, then you input the nothings value for your NNO, which I have on my screen here 424 880.033. Why for my northeastern, I have 169938.66. Then after you input the eastern and northern coordinates, what you do is uh, you click on convert. So once you click on convert, it's going to give you the UTM values for the north NNO. That is the conversion of your NNO to UTM is going to display it on the screen here. So this is it on my screen, and then it will display the zone. That is how to use Nigeria Dam Tool Converter to convert from NNO to UTM. And if it's other way around, you want to convert from UTM to NNO, what you do is you click on this. So you input the UTM values for your northern and eastern. This is for system, but for your mobile phone, you want to convert. If you are not with a system and you want to convert from NNO to UTM using your mobile phone there is an app for that that you can use to convert from NNO to UTM which the app is called Survey Calculator Survey Calculator has so many functions this is the app on the screen here it has a lot of functions let's go through it one after the other so I'll be starting with Project Manager so when you click on Project Manager you can just create a project you can see i've created a project called survey cut easier you can create a project then you save whatever thing you want to be on that project inside the project distance and bearing for this distance and bearing let's assume you want to confirm you have two set of coordinates and you want to confirm the distance and bearing within the two set of the coordinates so what you do is you input your eastern x stands for your eastern why do I start for your nothing? So when you input the first eastern and the first nothing, you also input the other eastern and other nothing. Then you click on equals to. When you click on equals to, it's going to display the distance for the for the two set of coordinates and then the bearing. Then when you are done, you can click on this to to clear whatever you have on the screen. That is for distance and bearing. For area from x and y, other area from x and y you can input your coordinates for x and y that is you can input your eastern and northern coordinate I, like i said earlier on x and y simply represent x stands for your eastern y y stands for your northern so once you what you do is you have to type the eastern and northern values somewhere once you type that somewhere what you simply do is you hold this and then you click on paste you click on paste here so once you paste it's going to display your eastern and notice because if you are typing it here on one after the other it's not going to enable you to input the uh the the uh nothings correctly so what you do is you would have typed it somewhere then what you simply do is you come back to the page and then you click on paste to paste whatever you have on your keyboard so after you paste then you click on equals to so after I click on equals to, you can see here, eh, it's going to plot the boundary of whatever coordinates you supply, and then it will show you the 
area and it's going to give you the distance for each each side under displays you can check in the display if you want it to display angle to the display distance to display point name you can check it in then it will display once you check it in so likewise under your area you can change your area to be on kilometer you can change it to be on hectares if you want it to be on acres you can set it wherever display you want the the system the soft uh, the hubs to display on the screen the area type the type of area you want either you want it to be on feet it's going to give it to you that is for that on that then after you are done you can just come to the council to cancel whatever you have why for lat and long you can convert you can convert either from lat long to utm or from utm to lag then it's going to display to convert latitude and longitude to utm you click on this you supply in your latitude and longitude value then you click on equals to to give you your direct utm coordinate nothing at this thing why you want to convert from utm to longitude and latitude you click on this and then you supply your data so it will convert it for you that is for that degree decimal for this if you want your uh, longitude and latitude to be in degree minutes and seconds then you click on this you supply in you supply wherever you have for your lat and long so it's going to give you lat and long in degree minutes and seconds or if you want it to be under decimal to degree because you can also click on this it's going it's going to change it other way around utm map for utm map we have for utm map you have to on your mobile data so that it's going to display on the screen as you are moving with the app is this longitude and latitude likewise the utm coordinates eastern and northern is going to be is going to change you notice a change once you are moving with the mobile phone wherever location you are it's going to select the coordinates of that point and you can change this to any type of street view representation you will need on the screen under this place here you can click on go to coordinates you want to check in any coordinates you can just click on go to coordinates then you input the launch and last coordinates and then to check in all this display you you want any of this display to appear you just check it it's going to appear and if you don't want it to check it back you will check it that is for that and under this the next thing is coordinate converter so once you click on your coordinate converter to use to convert from nno to utm using this app the first thing is the first thing you have to do is you click on these three dots here so you have to select your country so you select any country you are so mine is nigeria i'll select nigeria then you have to change this you want it to change from nno to utm what you simply do is you come to from that is you want to convert from nno to utm so you click on mina nigeria west belt then you want it to be on utm it will be to utm zone any zone you are either utm zone 31 zone 32 any utm zone that you want you convert it to it and you can also convert it to wgs that is google earth uh, representation wgs utm uh, zone 31 then after that after you convert you click, after you supply your coordinate let's just use the coordinate we we use the other time so by the time you'll be checking it, the one we use for the system and the one we use for the mobile app, you see is going to be the same value. It's going to give us the same value. So for our nothings, we have 424880.033. Why for our eastern we have 169? 
938.66 then you click on equals to so it's going to supply you your UTM coordinate so you, what you've simply done is that you convert from NLO to UTM using your mobile app so your system can do that while your mobile app can also do that then after that after you're done you can click on this cancel icon here to cancel whatever you have like i said earlier on i'm under my video description where you go to my video description i will drop a link where you can download these two software the one for the system that is nigeria that one converter and the one for your mobile app surveying calculator thank you